Hello folks, today is Friday, March 11th, 2016. Welcome to the Untitled Friday Gaming News Show. My name is Jake Baldino, and I'm really happy to finally be back in a normal setting here. Thank you guys so much for bearing with us, but we got a new set going on, hooray! We gotta talk about video games though. There's a lot going on this week, some weird stuff. First off, let's talk about Hitman. This new Hitman game released, we did a before you buy video on it. I'm kinda 50-50 on it. I like the game, not too cool about the model. Uh, but the news is, is that the disc-based version of the game that was scheduled for the end of 2016 is now pushed to 2017. Normally this type of thing isn't really worth talking about, but the model here, this like episodic model for Hitman, people are really holding off, it seems in some comments, people are really holding off and going off and waiting to play the full game when it releases on a disc and now they have to wait even longer and that sucks because like deep down if you dig through all the muck I think there is a decent Hitman game here. And in some more serious news but something that will probably lighten your spirits, uh, 2K the publisher of Grand Theft Auto and many other things said during an investor call that they don't want to milk Rockstar's properties. They don't want to churn out a new Red Dead or a Grand Theft Auto every single year and this is actually pretty refreshing to hear. The company president actually had some very interesting quotes here that I was very happy to hear. We don't intend to change annual strategy because of product fatigue. Take-Two creates franchise value and releases have to be managed deliberately. It's tempting to have continuous releases and milk a franchise as far as you can, but we've seen that fatigue in other franchises in the game industry. Boom! That's nice to hear. It seems like a company is actually paying attention to other companies, which uh, some of you guys might not think is a thing, but these people do pay attention to each other. And it seems like Take-Two is learning the mistakes of many other companies. And you know what? That feels pretty good. Yeah, if I'm not getting Grand Theft Auto 6 anytime soon, that's fine. I'll play Grand Theft Auto 5 forever. Just an interesting little quote I found floating around in the news I thought you guys would find interesting. I did link a story to that as well as everything else I talk about in the description below. Also, side note on GTA Online, apparently hackers now on the PC version of the game can fraud you and steal your cash. So if you do play GTA online, uh, be sure to be on the lookout for that. Is that for real? That is fucking for real. <laughs> yes. You can get insurance frauded in a video game. <laughs> so, like, is someone like role playing a Nigerian prince? I have to fucking walk outside my door every day and worry you about getting frauded. Now I have to do it in a video game. And in other news, since we're talking about the behind the scenes type of stuff, let's get this out of the way first. Bethesda is hiring for a quote unquote bleeding edge RPG project. They are hiring all kinds of designers and people to make a new RPG. And that comes as no surprise, judging off of Todd Howard's comments from last week. That's very exciting because we all immediately go, Elder Scrolls, Elder fucking Scrolls 6. But who knows, maybe if it is Elder Scrolls 6, we're still not gonna know for a couple of years. Todd Howard also did go back on his quote that we talked about like a week or two ago, where he was saying that they're working on three new big projects. He kind of scaled that back saying that we're not gonna see a lot of this anytime soon. Uh, he kind of downplayed it all. I think someone in the company had a stern talking to for him. Maybe he was a little too ambitious. But regardless, things are churning, things are moving. But Bethesda is bigger than ever, it's working on more things than ever, and I'm very excited. Something I also am very excited about, Deadline, oh, this is completely not really video game topic-y, but I don't care. Apparently Deadline is reporting that Daisy Ridley is in rumored talks to be Tomb Raider for a new Tomb Raider movie. Uh, her name isn't Tomb Raider, her name is Lara Croft, Jesus. And I think that's great because I love Daisy Ridley more than anything. Uh, she was excellent in Star Wars and I'm just excited. That's like a match made in heaven. Of course, the person who should rightly get the gig is the woman who uh, mocap facial capped and voice captured for Rise of the Tomb Raider, but Give it to the Star Wars girl, whatever. Also, since I'm really just talking about a lot of games and studios and cancellations and working on new products, uh, Dead Island 2, remember that? Apparently it's not canceled. The publisher Deep Silver was talking about how there is a new developer on board, uh, Sumo. These guys have worked on smaller games like Little Big Planet 3 and stuff like that, and now they're gonna be working on Dead Island 2, the game that everybody is clamoring for. Uh, this is just a big letdown because the fact that Jaeger was working on it, the guys that made, uh, what is that game called? Jaeger? Yeah, Jaeger. Uh, uh, Nolan North, you're a soldier man, you feel really bad about oh, it. Oh! Oh, the one that, if, when you die, it's like, this is all your fault. Yeah. Why um, can't I remember what it's called? Fucking... Uh, it's like, uh, Full, full Metal Jacket the game. It's like, it's not Soldier of Fortune. It's, it's like, uh, why, why can't I, I played it, I beat it twice. Fuck! I played it? through it twice, why can't you I think... You made me make a video about that game. Soldier Desert. Not Full Spectrum Warrior. No, uh, that was good too, though. Now I gotta Google it. I'll, Nolan North game. Spec Ops The Line. Oh, Spec Ops The Line. Fucking okay. generic name for it anyway. Jaeger made Spec Ops The Line and that was a really cool, really inspired game and for them to work on Dead Island 2 seemed like it would make it a little more than just an unexceptional boring game. Now we're back to square one, but I'm just gonna go home and play more Dying Light. Also a quick peek for you PlayStation fans. Uh, there was apparently like a little bit of a leak uh, for some store product redesigns on the PSN store on PlayStation 4. Uh, there's some screenshots. It looks pretty cool. They rolled it out and then scaled it back. It's probably a mistake. 
looks good. But in some cool ass Blizzard news, Blizzard actually updated Diablo 2. Yes, they patched the game to work better on current Mac OS X systems and Windows 10. And that just makes me a happy boy. That's really cool that they're still keeping it real and supporting Diablo 2. That's fucking crazy. But speaking of Diablo 2 news, I think the most important news this week is that Blizzard released a trailer for a new skin for a character in Heroes of the Storm. Asmodan is now Asmodunk. And what the fuck is happening? What is this? <laughs> he's a basketball player and it's the greatest thing ever. And he's like quoting NBA Jam and like Space Jam and shit. It's like, what the hell is going on? I love everything about this and I've really only spent like an hour playing Heroes of the Storm, but now you've got my attention. And in some mod news, I don't know if you guys have been playing Stardew Valley on Steam, but it's really, really good. If you're into management types of game or a Harvest Moon type of game, it's incredible. People are loving it. It's blowing up on Steam for a reason. And it should be blowing up even more because it's already getting a pretty active modder scene and the big thing is, is putting Pokemon in the game. You can get all different kinds of Pokemon and they can replace your animals in the game, like your dog, your farm animals, and it's just too great. I don't really have anything else to say about that other than that it looks cool and you should play that game. But last and certainly not least, we need to talk about Fable Legends and how it's canceled and how the world kind of seemingly rejoiced. S sorry, Fable Legends. I, I'm like a diehard. I love Fable. I love Fable so much. And I got my hands on Fable Legends at some events and stuff, and it was not a game I wanted to play. It's not a game that a lot of people asked for. There has been a beta out, and they are leaving it out for a while, and some people are enjoying it, but I think it was kind of rightfully canceled. However, though, Microsoft is apparently in talks to close Lionhead Studios, the legendary studio behind Black and White, Fable. Stuff like that. And I know, I guess kind of Lionhead Studios has kind of become a shell of its former self. Uh, the studio head Peter Molyneux hasn't been there for a while, but it's still very sad to see the studio go. I'm very curious to hear from you guys though, if you were digging Fable Legends and were you looking forward to that? Are you disappointed? There's gotta be some of you out there. Let's talk in the comments. So guys, those are some cool video game stuff to talk about this week. It's good to be back in the swing of things. You guys know the drill though, every week we give away a free game of your choice. There's a link below, you click it, you sign up, you're entered once forever. And every week I go in and pick a random person to win a free game of their choice. This week's winner is... Nice going. You want a free game. You're the best boy or girl. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Now that we have this new set, part of this is thanks to you guys. You guys are the best for watching. Uh, if you want more of me, you can go subscribe to my channel over there. I talk about some stuff, talk about Spider-Man, talk about some video games, check it out. If you can actually tolerate me, that is. But you guys know the real drill here. Uh, liking this video helps us out so much. We appreciate it. And if this is your first time here, subscribing is a good idea because we put out videos every single day. But as always, I'm Jake Baldino. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Pizza's on me.